Oh, whoa, 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 that was a close one. If you could tell over there, there's corn still in them fields. We're in the northern country of Iowa. We need to get that corn harvested so it's money in the bank. But man, is that corn down. We purchased a couple corn reels, and I'm hoping that this isn't a nightmare in the field. Let's get to it. Alright, got my Casey's copy. I'm ready to get in that field. Oh man, sometimes when corn's on the ground, oh, it is a nightmare picking it. It just, uh, it takes a lot out of you once you're in that camp. Hey, if you guys are watching this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Less than half of you are subscribed to the channel. Come on, help me out. I appreciate it. Not fooling around, we need to get to the harvesters. This corn doesn't really look like it's on the ground like our corn is. Our corn is definitely, uh, it's starting to drop ears. We had a bad snowstorm and that plugs up the sieves really bad on the harvesters where you can't really harvest it because you're just pushing it all out the back. Before this, harvest season was going immaculate. And then the weather hit. And boy, did it hit. There's a lot of snow. There's a lot of corn still in the ground. Huh. That stream, it still isn't frozen. Amazing. But the good thing is the ground is a little uh, frozen on top. So it's not sloppy, nasty out there. I'm hoping at least. Almost there. Just got around the corner. And this is our first field. Whew, took that a little bit too fast. Right up here is our quaint little farmyard. Kind of like it. Looks like all the trucks are running. We are ready to get into that field. Here's our corn reels. Man, these, uh, these have been around for a long time. Now these corn reels, all they do is help feed the corn into the head. They uh, help them feed because uh, beans, it's all down. Uh, these heads are just designed for corn to be up straight and once a couple head corn stalks are down they start spider webbing and then they get clogged up like a mess and you can't back them out and you have to get out there you got to pull them off it it's really a intensive process and it takes forever and it really slows down these help feed the corn and keep them feeding hopefully without getting bent up these are probably the only corn reels I've seen without bins in them. So we're going to fire everything up here get to run it. Everything's up and running. Most of the hired hands are down the street already. Uh-oh. Looks like we might have a uh, truck problem up there. But we need to move the hired hands uh, truck here. Uh, this looks like uh, this has definitely got some aftermarket uh, products on it. Mighty nice uh, Cummins, I think. Move this out of the way. We have to uh, open up this field right by our old uh, house here. This house is, uh, no one's living in this house, you can tell. I mean, look how nasty them windows are. I think I'll end up taking the 9870. I'll get the hired hand on the 9610. We'll get out in the field. Alright. We are going to start breaking... Uh-oh. I don't think I can get around over there. Gonna have to back up. Oh, this is tricky. Back up into... Am I clear? Clear as mud. Alright. Definitely hard. Uh, I parked that truck right in the worst possible area. Finally, I'm clear of that. Whoa! Got a mailbox right there. Wow. You know, 12 o heads really ain't that big. They've been around forever. And I'm having a hard time. Uh, 
getting around with this. All right, get the harvester ready. Here we go. All right, we are ready to go. Move the head down. Start into the corn. Corn reel working nicely so far. Here we go. I guess this corn really isn't as down as what I thought it was. Ooh, I hope they're not having problems. I do like that uh, grain tank on the back of that thing. Man, does it look nice. We got our uh, 4840 right there pulling the grain cart. We got our cab over truck on that we got a little uh, straight truck right there and we are already full if you can see where is our come on bring it over here buddy that bushels per acre has got to be uncalibrated down there there is no way this is a, this is record corn right here that's all that means all right Corn reel is working per perfection. Look at that thing. Oh man, we're already dinging. We're already full. It doesn't take long for this thing to fill up, that's for sure. Uh, will we make it? Yeah, just barely. Means all the hired hands ain't quite ready to go yet. I'm gonna run over here and uh, put another load into the grain cart definitely have our high line lines to worry about I gotta make sure that they're aware of that especially having your auger out definitely want to watch out the good thing is, is these high line lines are way up in the air but when they're bowed down that's when you have to worry about it. Timmy's over here Old Timmy he's in the 9610 there he has an eight roll head that 9600 well, the 9610, it can handle a 12 row, but it is a lot for it. It wasn't, uh, it was back in the day where they didn't need that much capacity in the harvesters. Nowadays, uh, 16 row is almost starting to get to the norm when it comes to corn heads. Big 45 foot uh, draper heads are being the norm. Or uh, soybeans, wheat, and all the small grains. It's just crazy how quick it changes. We are uh, loading up the trucks on the county road right there. I know a lot of people uh, don't like that look, but uh, we really don't have a choice. Some trucks definitely can't get into the field right now. It's a little sloppy. And I hope they get that truck a running. Don't want that thing to break down. Add a bonus row there for a little bit. Or pick that up. You know, feel bad for all the people in Iowa that had a bad windstorm. They definitely used a lot of these uh, corn reels. No one wants to put a corn reel on their head. I do like the color of that J&M. It just, uh, I like that turquoise green. I don't know. Like, it reminds me of Larson Farms. If you haven't heard, watch their channel. Prayer goes out. Wish them the best. Thanks, buddy. Got his cowboy hat on in the tractor. Not sure where he's going, but I don't think the neighbor likes you in this field. Oh, missing corn there. It's time for a little montage.
actually really happy because uh, when I was walking through these fields, the down corn was definitely way worse, or I thought it was way worse than what it really is. I think I'm going to trade off run into the 4840 because uh, old Jimmy's having a hard time keeping up. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, she's a, she fights it. It's a cold morning. Poor old, old iron here. Has a hard time. Oh, gotta help out the combines here. They miss a little bit. They don't like seeing that. So you just run it over just like so. Oh, here's some more. Gotta run these over. Yep. It's important to help out the harvesters. Yep, that might be controversial to a lot of you, but uh, that's the way I was taught. It's always your fault, so you uh, make sure you run it all over so you don't get blamed for it. Right on here. There we go. Timmy's got his uh, pink shirt on. That's how Timmy rolls. All right. Gonna do a little uh, sliding in the neighbor's field here. Woo! Catch up, oh! My wife's driving this 9870 here. Yeah, this uh, this old 4840, it it takes all this thing has to pull this grain cart. It's about an 800 bushel grain cart. Harvesting away. Look at that corn reel go. Oh, oh, it's so memorizing it almost made me drive into the header. But uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Over here in the sloppy state of Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Timmy, seriously, slow it down. If you want to play with all these mods and more, check out Apex Game PCs. They make a PC for everyone. If you like this map, check out uh, JS Mapping, I believe it is. Might have said that wrong. Uh, Facebook site, find this map. It has custom textures, and it is uh, one of my favorite Iowa maps. Later, y'all.